The choice of hybrid, in my mind, is really straightforward. The battery technology simply isn't there yet. We looked at all the options available. I mean, the, the fun part of engineering, you look at the mission you need, you look at what's to do it, and what's the best way to do it. And right now, if you think of an airplane, it's a way to go from A to B, and you want to be as infrastructure independent as possible. So if you chose to go all battery, you, every time you make a trip, you gotta make sure the charger and the infrastructure is there, or you're stranded. The whole key with uh, hybrid, the infrastructure exists. So we've got the uh, wonderful technology of the elect electric boost to get you up to permit the vertical flight, use it where you need to use it. Then you switch the conventional modes to fly wherever you need to go and you have the infrastructure there. So the fuel's there, uh, everything's there to give you that freedom. The uh, main issue with building a uh, hybrid airplane, it's, it's really like building any airplane. It's always about energy density. Power to weight ratio is king if you're flying. Every pound you add to the airplane takes more power to fly. That's the biggest single challenge is to be able to extract the maximum amount of energy out of the airplane uh, given the constraints of the technology. In terms of engineering hurdles, <laughs> lots of things to uh, keep you awake at night. Uh, some of the key ones that are going to be much more important than I've ever been is things like noise. I mean, everybody understands noise, but truly identifying the source of it, understanding how to mitigate that, to make it so we can uh, come and go as we please, and the ideal airplane, nobody knows you've been there. Hybrid power system airplane, I think, is a lot shorter certification route than the others because we're taking a known engine. We can use anybody's engine, and all you're really worried about in the certification uh, role is the new products, the uh, electric products. So it's it's got a, a head start as far as I'm concerned. The other real advantage we have is our airplane flies like a normal airplane 98% of the time. That's been certified a million times. People know it, they know how to do it. So we're just doing the differentiator. We're just doing the vertical component. So it's a significant advantage for us.